official top five. These are 10 of the scariest videos of the year. Number one. A man named Berlin Birch runs a YouTube channel with several uploads of delicious food tutorials. From smoked chicken wings to a grilled pizza, I'm getting hungry just making this video. Well, more recently, Berlin posted a video of something chilling that may just make you lose your appetite. While Berlin was walking to his car, a dark figure can be seen in the background. Across the street, a being that's barely visible moves from left to right and seems to have caught Berlin's attention. And strangely enough, after this figure walked out of view, something quickly appeared in the top left corner. According to Berlin, he used to see shadow figures at his old house. And from the looks of this video, it seems that one of them may have come to get some chicken wings. Number two. Over on the Haunted Side YouTube channel, paranormal investigators Patrick and Jason set out to investigate the Clean Water Demon House in Nevada. This house is supposedly extremely haunted, and people believe this haunting is caused by the multiple deaths that took place inside. Well, as Patrick and Jason stepped foot inside the house, strange things quickly began happening. Robert. Region. Oh, I got Kate. dizzy there for a second. Home. Central. Star. Dude, that thing's going Valley. off like crazy. Club. Are you Boots. figuring out how to use this? Roger. I said rod. Ooh. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't looking, but I caught a glimpse of something kind of there-ish. It stopped. Yeah, it did. Oh, it's so cold right here. Yeah, it just got real cold. Oh. But right Something in here, just stepped though. above me. Did yeah. you hear that? No. Are you upstairs? You didn't hear that? No. It was like loud as hell. And that's a room directly above me. It just went. Who's in here? Ambition. Oh, oh God. Jesus. Applet. Children. Applet and children? After Patrick asked who's in here, a quiet childlike voice can be heard saying, me. What makes this even more bizarre is just moments later, their device said the word children. As the guys continued on, they heard something unnerving upstairs. Ooh, did you hear that? I thought it was you. No, it was like, out there, look. What was that? Dude, what was what that? What the f was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounded like grumbling. Like, yeah. Ooh. What the f What the f it was right there. Who's in here? A loud knock coming from directly above them startled both Patrick and Jason. And as they went upstairs looking for the source of this sound, the static camera downstairs caught something chilling. Whoa! Dude! With objects now moving downstairs, things just got even creepier. But throughout this entire investigation, little did Patrick and Jason know that something downright terrifying was keeping an eye on them. Okay. 
Yeah, let's take this stairs. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow, but it was on the other side of that window. Right as I was walking back into the house, I just happened to glance down at the camera's LED screen. I thought I saw some kind of black shadow behind that window, but I didn't even realize until I reviewed the footage that I'd captured probably one of the best shadow figures I've ever seen. And here's where it gets even more compelling. This is the shot from the camera that was sitting inside of that room. I'm going to sync up the audio from this camera to our cameras and show you that there's no explainable reason that something should have been behind that door. I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel good. What was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. Had we realized in the moment what we captured, I don't think we would have walked by that door so casually. A dark shadow figure ominously stood in the window, watching their every move. But this wasn't the only time this dark figure made an appearance. When it's not feeding back like that. Midgen, just tell me when, when it's not feeding back like that. What's especially creepy about this figure is it appears there and then a second later disappears from that window. With this unnerving figure being in multiple different areas of the house during the investigation, it's safe to say that it was watching the investigators every move. Number three. A man from Tennessee who has chosen to keep his identity anonymous has been dealing with chilling activity in his home for some time now. Over the last 11 years, something dark made its way into his home and won't seem to leave his side. This hair-raising activity led him to set up cameras throughout his home to capture proof of these strange incidents. And back in 2021, he began posting these recordings to TikTok under the very fitting name, Dude My House Is Haunted. I've been living here 10 years and hearing a lot of noises, but figured it was just the house settling as most houses do. Uh, but things got a lot more active over the past year, and uh, this video here is the first one that I documented accidentally, uh, some activity. Me and a friend of mine were on the porch, he was leaving after visiting, I live here alone, but we hear a what sounds like a young woman in the house saying hello and then sorry, is what I think I hear her say. The first time she says hello, you can barely hear it because we're talking over it, but you see our expression. Just watch. Yeah, that's just the door. What was that? Hello? Mm-hmm. Weird. While saying goodbye to a friend, they both heard a disembodied voice come from somewhere inside the house. This eerie voice was clear as day and quickly caught their attention. Well, after catching this voice on camera, he attempted to talk to whoever or whatever was in his house. But trying to communicate only seemed to make things even worse. Okay, guys. See these two columns on either side of my TV? Notice this one's away from the wall. That one's up against the wall. I'm sitting here watching videos and this one moves. So I grab my phone because I'm hoping it'll either move again or this one will move again, something. That's the difficult thing trying to capture something that's going on as it happens and you have to sit and wait for it to happen again. <sighs> Move it. <gasps> oh my God. <sighs> After
after sternly telling whatever is in his house to move the column, it did exactly that, as it mysteriously began rocking back and forth. And if you listen closely, another faint disembodied voice can be heard. I'm not 100% sure what this voice is saying, but from what I can hear, it sounds like someone is telling him to get out. As time went on, this activity unfortunately continued to get worse, making him increasingly less comfortable in his own home. Well, one day, after setting up two separate cameras to record, he ended up catching something chilling. Hey guys, in my last video I told you guys that there had been a lot of activity in the back of the house, but I hadn't been able to catch anything. Uh, the attic door was banged a couple times and little stuff like that, noises in my office. Uh, well, yesterday I was in my office and doing some research and I kept hearing a noise and I heard the attic door bang again. So I set up my cell phone camera and another camera at two different angles uh, and just let it run and hope that I caught something. So keep an eye on the wall in the hallway uh, and right at the end you'll hear the attic door bang. Behind him in the doorway, a shadowy figure can be seen walking by. This unnerving figure looks to be eerily tall as it slowly walks past the room. And after hearing a bang on the attic door, he quickly got up to investigate, only to find no one but his cat. Despite months going by, the activity in his home never seemed to die down. And after an incident where a kitchen knife terrifyingly flew towards him completely on its own, his hallway camera caught something just minutes later, which ultimately led him to move out of this house for good. figure was caught on camera walking down the hallway, and as it made it to the end of the hall, it can be seen looking to the right before walking towards the left. This bone-chilling capture just goes to show that you never know what's lurking in your home when you're not around. Since moving out, his house has been on the market for the last seven months, but just won't seem to sell. And according to his TikTok, if it doesn't happen soon, then he may just have to move back in. Number 4. A man named Jay from Australia has recently been dealing with something sinister inside of his home. But unlike other hauntings, Jay knows exactly why this began happening. Throughout his life, he's always been a skeptic when it came to the paranormal. And just a few weeks ago, he decided to test his luck with a Ouija board. Well, as if this wasn't already a bad decision, Jay went on to invite demons to possess him. He certainly didn't think that anything would actually come from this, but lately he's noticed that he's no longer alone in his own house. Alright, so I'm sitting here playing Rocket League at the moment. Every time I'm here by myself, I swear this place is haunted. I've been f***ing around with Ouija boards and I was stupid enough to bloody invite demons to possess me and because I didn't believe in it, but ever since then, every time I'm here by myself, I hear sh** outside. So I'm playing Rocket League. Oh, did you hear that? <gasps> oh, what the f***? No f***ing way. No f Hello? 
Is anybody here? Holy shit, why is that f***ing moving? Hello? Is anybody here? Oh my god, man. What the f***? No f***ing sh**. Hello? I heard you. No. No f***ing way. No f***ing way. Oh my god. Hello? I swear I just saw a f***ing shadow moving here. This is this f***ing light switch. Oh man, I'm absolutely f***ing shitting myself. No! That can't be... God! Holy f***ing shit! No, f*** this on me. This I'm out of here. Goodbye. F this While he was recording, a menacing hiss came from somewhere in the room. <laughs> then immediately after, his bedroom door slammed shut. After discovering his chandelier swinging on its own, and a light turning on and off, he noticed that something was casting a shadow in the hallway. And just before the video cuts off, his kitchen table eerily slid across the floor. Days later, Jay decided to give his followers an update on a chilling discovery he made. Hello, everyone. Um, I've been getting lots of people asking me for an update on the ghost stuff, but... To be honest, I haven't really been home much since Friday night, since all that went down. But, um, I've just kind of gotten home and turned my telly on and stuff and leant over here and noticed something on my cabinet thing. And yeah, right, you're probably going to give me shit about how dusty it is, but whatever. I don't dust. But what the hell is that? It looks like a handprint or something. Wait, it's actually got one, two, three, four, five fingers and a thumb. And the thumb print's way bigger than... I didn't even notice it had five fingers, that's weird. Oh, well. <clears throat> I don't even know if I want to know <laughs> what that is to be honest, but there's the best update I can give you for now. Jay discovered a spine-chilling handprint on the dusty surface of his dresser. This oddly shaped handprint looked to have six fingers total with a strangely large thumb. Just seeing this print sent chills directly down my spine, as I remembered that Jay invited demons into his home. So could this be one of them giving him a warning of what's to come? Number 5 over on the WV Para Investigations TikTok account, the team recently set out to investigate the allegedly haunted Bill Manor. Known as the most haunted house in Ohio, this historic home was built in 1898. And in 1920, this house was sold to a family who were looking to settle down. But unfortunately, tragedy seemed to follow them until their untimely death shortly after moving in. Fast forward to today, and intense activity is said to take place inside. Hearing disembodied voices, seeing shadowy figures, and rumors of people being bitten and scratched in the basement are just a few of the things reported to happen within these walls. Well, before the WV paranormal team could begin their investigation, they first wanted to film a walkthrough of the property. But during this walkthrough, something made an appearance. Is it? 
shortly after walking through the front door, something chilling was captured. As fellow investigator Scott walked towards the camera, a dark figure could be seen behind him. This eerie figure quickly darted towards the left out of view and could only be seen for a few moments. So could this be proof of the spirits lurking inside? Well, I will definitely not be visiting to find out for myself. Number 6 A guy named Sean and his girlfriend Gina live full time in an RV with their two dogs. And for the last two years, they've been filming their travels and the creepy locations they end up at. Well, in their most recent video on their YouTube channel, Black Sheep Travels, they decided to investigate a bridge known as Dead Woman's Crossing. Located in Oklahoma, this bridge has been an urban legend for many years. Back in 1905, a woman named Katie James and her baby Lulu Bell were getting a ride in a buggy by a woman named Fanny Norton. Fanny ended up murdering Katie, but thankfully didn't harm Lulu Bell. And it's said if you go to this bridge late at night, you'll either see or hear a woman crying for her baby. Well, during their investigation, they were shocked at what began happening around them. We'd like to talk to Katie. I've noticed there's some sigils here. I don't like that. Is Katie still here? Can you throw something? I'm upset. I'm upset. I know, I'm so sorry. What happened to you wasn't right at all. We're sorry to hear about what happened. We come in peace. And we just want to help you. We don't need any harm. Is Fanny here at all? Why did you do that? Why did you lure her in the middle of nowhere? Hopefully we get an answer. What was Fanny's last name? What was what the that? Is it? No way. No way. What was that? What the f***? Some, something just got thrown off the bridge. While trying to make contact, the sound of two heavy objects falling from the bridge and plummeting into the water can be heard. And between the two splashes, an eerie, unexplained noise came from somewhere nearby. And even more incredible, as soon as this happened, one of their devices said, fall. According to the urban legend, after Katie was murdered, she fell from the bridge into the water, making this a very strange coincidence. Later on, after wrapping up the investigation, they noticed something unnerving. A red scratch appeared on Sean's arm that they can't explain. And whatever caused this to happen clearly did some damage to Sean's skin. Since this investigation, Sean and Gina are convinced that they caught proof of the paranormal, and I would have to agree. Number 7 Over on the Ghost Tech Paranormal YouTube channel, investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark bravely venture inside haunted locations, hoping to find what may be hiding in the dark. And in their most recent video, they set their sights on the Viaduct Tavern. Located in London, this historic building opened its doors in 1869. With much of the original interior still in place today, it's easy for visitors to get a feel for its rich history. But that's not the only thing that visitors have noticed while inside. There's been numerous reports of paranormal activity by the landlords, staff, and customers over many years. A ghost that will drink your beer when you're not looking and disembodied voices that speak directly to you are just some of the reported activity inside the tavern. With several static cameras set up throughout the building, the investigation was ready to begin. To start off the investigation, we make our way up to floor three, where poltergeist activity is said to take place. These upper floors were used as an opium den and also a brothel. 
there is no power to anything on these upper floors. No lights or electrical sockets have been working in years. So can I speak to whoever it was that's here that levitated the carpet off the floor? Hello? Is there someone up there? There was like, I, I don't know what it was. Some sort of noise from on the stairwell or further up the stairs. It was like a door moved. Hello? The sound of a door moves from somewhere nearby. Here is the enhanced audio taken from Static Cam 3 covering the hallway. Did you hear that? While inside a room, Jeff could clearly hear movement coming from the hallway. And as soon as he approached the nearby staircase, he heard something unnerving. There's a knocking sound coming from upstairs. Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you walking. Can you come down the stairs, please? There was a few footsteps on the floor above us. As I stand on the stairs to the full floor, I hear footsteps above me on the floorboards. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam 5, which is located up on the full floor. As Jeff looked up the staircase into the darkness, the unmistakable sound of footsteps could be heard. These eerie footsteps were enough to lure the guys upstairs, where Mark came face to face with something terrifying. Kate, tell me your name, your full name. We can find out. Find out what happened to you and whether the person that did it 
was caught and punished. Jesus. Hey there. There was someone stood by me. Okay. There was someone stood right by me then. Oh, hang on a minute. That is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, calm down. There. Okay. I was stood here. No. Okay. okay. It was there. Were you trying to show yourselves to us then? Please do that again. I apologise. Mark, it made him jump. Mark sees a figure standing next to him and, on review of the footage from his full spectrum night vision cam, he has captured the face of whoever it was beside him. It is only seen for a split second as the camera pans the room. As Mark quickly jerked his camera to the side, he unknowingly captured this terrifying face. And after he saw this being with his own eyes, he was amazed that it also ended up on video. Later on into the investigation, the motion detector lights they placed upstairs seemed to have caught something. As we are still down in the cells in the basement, our motion detector light activates on the third floor hallway as movement is heard, which is captured on both of our static cams. Sounds like footsteps can be heard, which appear to trigger the motion-activated device nearby. And with the boards of the staircase inexplicably creaking, an unseen force may have just been walking around. As the investigation was nearing an end, Jeff managed to catch something that sent chills down their spines. The old newspapers. And find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. That's all I need from you, is your surname. So if I hold this out. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. What have you caught? Something's in that room. It just went past the window and I've got it on film. Something went across that window. Kate? I capture a shadow figure moving in the room opposite on my phone. Is this the prostitute that was murdered whose name is Kate? In the empty room nearby, a dark figure was caught. And with all three investigators accounted for, there's no explanation as to who or what this could have been. Now although I'm a fan of having a few drinks and having a good time, this is one tavern I will not be going to. Number 8 Over on a YouTube channel called Chasing the Darkness, a man named Levy often sets out to explore haunted abandoned locations. From venturing inside an abandoned ghost town to investigating a haunted psych ward, nothing seems to be too scary for this paranormal investigator. Well, in one of his more recent investigations, Levy encountered something dark that he'll never forget. He set his sights on exploring a place known as Letchworth Village. Located in New York, this mental institution complex is said to be very haunted. And almost immediately after stepping foot inside, things took a terrifying turn. Back to Letchworth Village.
Yo, bro, this shit feels so weird. <laughs> this shit feels super weird. Yeah. Hello, it's me, Levy. <laughs> they gotta know me from now, bro, because. Right? Yes. Playing. Hello. So you're music playing. I think there's people here. Oh my god. I hope my article catches because right here. I hope you all catch this too, bro, because... Hello? Anybody here? We just come to investigate this place. Oh my god. Dude, the music is wild. I know, man. So this doesn't feel right. So dude, did you hear that? Dude. It's like footsteps? Footsteps. This one <gasps> in front of us. As soon as he stepped inside the building, eerie music could be heard coming from somewhere. And as he made his way down the long hall, his camera captured something terrifying. A dark shadow figure can be seen ahead walking in the hall. This ghastly figure slowly made its way across the hall from right to left and seemingly vanished into thin air. Levy had no idea what he just captured until he later reviewed his footage. And as the investigation continued, things got even more bizarre. Dude. Looks like footsteps. Footsteps. There's one <gasps> in front of us. <gasps> What's it talking? I heard it again? There's like talking everywhere, bro. Dude, what the footsteps? That conversation. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I felt something touch my leg, bro. These strange occurrences left the guys feeling like they weren't alone. And by the end of the investigation, they were convinced that something dark definitely still resides inside Letchworth Village. Number nine. 
Over on the Ben Bauer YouTube channel, a young guy from Australia recently had a terrifying encounter that he managed to catch on camera. Late one night, accompanied by his friend Zach, the two bravely decided to explore an old abandoned factory. According to reports, multiple suicides took place inside, leaving a dark energy within the factory. And now with this massive building standing before them, they cautiously searched for a way inside. And shortly after finding an entrance, they found out that they may not have been the only ones inside. This is like a f***ing escape room. Can you... How did you have the balls to try that? Oh my god. I just gotta remember that way. Just follow the doors. Yeah. Oh, Zach. Oh. Oh, Holy Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's like a weird room down here. What's this? Oh. Holy f Oh my god. Oh, oh, I've got a spider on me, I think. No. Look at my f hands. Zach. <laughs> Did you not just hear that? Yeah, it was. And then the bang after? This is like a night. Holy f. Bro. Holy <gasps> what have we done? This is it. This is where we die. This door first. It's so scary, I think. Why not? Oh! Lunch room? Is it safe to walk in here? <laughs> Bro, I'm just waiting for, to find someone with a needle in the hand running us. Don't say that. <laughs> What's in here, Zaki? Please note, these are ladies' amenities. Ladies. Right. Yeah, Bro? 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 Did you get that on I got that on camera. No f***ing way that just happened. Bro, Hello? No, bro, I'm get I wanna get the f out now. That was loud as f That was loud as f I'm freaking the f out, bro. That was loud as all f I do not want to go out of We like stuff. Bro, what? That was something being chucked a hundred f***ing percent. No, 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 wait, bro. I swear to God, I just heard a hello. I swear to God, outside maybe. I swear to God, I just f***ing heard hello. Okay, that's a bit f***ing. Wouldn't want to go in there anyway. Bro, I'm actually, I don't want to go out here. With strange noises happening around the factory, the guys felt a bit uneasy, but decided to continue the investigation. But while making their way from room to room, things took a terrifying turn. Holy f Someone's done a number here. I think we've pretty much spot everything. There's gotta be more rooms. <laughs> what was that? Someone just said something. This place is full of noises and legit rat and shit. Oh my god! Oh my god! Go! 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 Keep going! Go! 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 Go!
Yeah, go, 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 go. This way, this way, just go, just go, just go. Go, bro. While in a large room surrounded by darkness, a loud moan came from within the shadows. And as soon as Ben and Zack heard this disembodied voice, they took off running towards the exit. After this chilling experience, the guys decided to never step foot inside this factory again. Is what I wish I could say. But a month later, they boldly returned to this location. Today we are back at the abandoned haunted factory, that's it. Um, as you guys are aware, the last video we did here, we heard a scream. Oh my god! Now we're not sure if someone was f***ing with us, we aren't entirely sure, we heard a lot of noises. Yeah, we're gonna replay right now, we came here to film a music video literally a couple of hours ago, and we, as soon as we got here we heard noises and I started recording, I'm gonna play that right now for you guys. Alright, so I'm having to start the video pretty early guys. As you can see the sun's up, we're, we're trying to come here to film a music video. And um, as we got here, we were hearing a lot of noises. I recorded on my phone. We're not 100% sure that we're here on our own. Um, Hello? Hello? Zach. Oh my god. That was... That was walking down the... It was. Hello? That says no, that's walking. Bro, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yeah. Right, no, that's walking. Can you, can you grab something right now, bro? Can we? Yeah, I was trying to grab one of those, but it has Bro, we can't. That's walking in there, bro. That's, that's, yeah. There's someone in there. No one's saying hello back. Alright, so we're not, we're not 100% certain that we're here on our own anymore. I have a feeling that there's someone in there. Um. But doors. Footsteps. Bro, there's someone in there. Footsteps, bro. Holy cow. Bro, let me run. Run, bro. Okay, so yeah, guys, that was really weird. We can't explain what happened. Um, but look, we rocked up here during the day, and even that, we heard more things than we we did the last time we were here so we are a bit nervous we had to film a music video after hearing a couple of noises but um yeah we're back we're gonna explore today we do have something different Zach do you want to tell the people what we're doing differently today so but, guys today we brought the Ouija board with us it's gonna be a lot of fun and bro Myself, bro. We're doing a Ouija board guys because um, yes, I, I forgot to mention this to everyone last time um, There have been known to have multiple suicides within this establishment um, Shortly after it closed so there has been a lot of suicides man a lot of deaths in this factory So we found that out after making that video actually so it is kind of um, Freaked us out since then because that makes a lot of sense. It really does Deciding to return to this factory was already a questionable decision, but bringing a Ouija board was just asking for trouble. Oh, what the f I can't remember if things were like this when we were here. No, that's not Bro, look at the water. That... <laughs> that was bubbling. I just said... Mm. Yeah, yeah.
to start walking. Something, no, no, something's bubbling. Can you hear it? Footsteps. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, move, 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 move. Fucking move, bro. Yeah, that area. Bro, someone's got to be in there. Yeah, yeah. That area is obviously sketchy. Bro, I'm on edge. Shortly after going inside, distant noises began coming from the darkness around them. And after a quick session with the Ouija board, it looks like they may have stirred something up. That was knocking. Are there any spirits here with us tonight? Move to yes. There it is again. There it is again. What the f was that? Probably that was down here. Hello? Hello? Disembodied footsteps came out of nowhere. These aggressive stomping sounds on the stairs caught the guys off guard, sending them sprinting out of there. So whatever is in this building made it very clear that it is not a fan of visitors. Number 10. Over 400 years ago, Ye Old King's Head was built in Chester, England, and it's been rumored that 13 spirits haunt the old inn. These lingering spirits are said to be very active, and often interact with visitors staying in one of the many bedrooms inside. Today the old inn is still open and operating, and is actually the setting for its own paranormal show called My Haunted Hotel. Visitors can come stay the night and hunt for ghosts while the entire thing is recorded on the many cameras inside. Well, just recently, with a new group of guests staying the night, the activity within the hotel began to spike. Hours pass by, and our only choice is to involve ourselves in the investigation. Brett takes one group of guests downstairs, and I take the rest into room 6, and this immediately has an effect. Be clear with me. Noises in the corridor outside of room 6, and our camera captures the audio perfectly. It almost sounds as if someone is running through the corridor, and we can confirm that we are the only people upstairs. The sound of someone running down the hall can be heard, although no one can be seen. As the night went on in another part of the hotel, another group of guests began to receive intelligent responses. Can you make that box come off? Light up at the beginning of the door. All you have to do is walk near it. Walk near it and it will go off. Touch it. Is that you leaning on that wall? Why would it not? Well, nothing then, nothing as well. 
with a knock then. Yeah, that's what I recognise. Yes. Try leaning against the bed the way you were just there. It could have been the door, like the, the room next door. If that was you, could you knock again? But louder. No, you f***ing <laughs> heard me. Where'd that come from? I can't tell if it was anywhere. You said knock louder. I'll say like you're from down there. No, it came from right behind us. Yeah. In the oh, right, so we've had it twice. If if that was you, can you knock again? The way that the way that, that you did just then, if that was you. No, you're joking. You're joking me, joking me. That came from here. To me. What did I sell that to you? Are you are you making it? Are you making it? No, what did I sell that to you? It's coming from out the it's coming from out the head of the bed. One more time. I never agree. We are getting some significant knocking sounds yeah. coming from uh, what we believe is possibly your bathroom. After asking whatever was in the room to knock again, it did exactly that two more times. Later on into the night, another chilling piece of evidence was caught on camera. Go yeah. down. <laughs> I don't know if she seems the same, but. I don't know if it's a lie or anything, but that was during about six o'clock. Look at it from this angle, same angle. But about here, I don't know, she seems a little bit more forward and she was looking a bit more this way, I swear. Tom believes Willow has moved and it is our job to check the camera. As Harry and Brett do this, we are in for a major shock. It has moved. Oh my God. This is one of our most compelling captures to date, as the Willow doll, an item which is known to move by itself, is captured clearly on camera moving. As Harry and Brett scream out with excitement, we all realise the magnitude of what has just been seen. Look, right, let me scroll back, hold on. Oh my god. Here now, watch, ready? Watch, watch. watch. A doll in a glass case was caught moving on its own. This doll has been said to move by itself before, so this creepy footage just adds to the credibility of it being haunted. With a camera in hand, two guests ventured inside a room 8 in an attempt to make contact. But the events that followed are downright terrifying. Oh, this is weird. I'm gonna come stand over here. The Intravox device begins to deliver white noise and hertz frequencies into room 8, and within minutes, the room fills with a dark energy that targets Luke. I really don't want to be in there any longer than I need to be. Small garlic's coming back through. Jeanette, are you here? Why'd you, see, why'd you do that? Ra. What? Someone's just touched me. <laughs> My eyes are burning. Is anyone in here with us? No, I, I have to get out. My eyes are burning. My eyes are f burning. The sensation of burning eyes means Luke must leave immediately. This is one of our strictest rules, and both Harry and I must intervene. How that hurts. Oh my god, yeah, my eyes just burn. Wait, what do you mean burning? I just burn. Okay? Yeah, my eyes just felt like I was burning after someone just touched me on the shoulder. I was so I confident going in. It, it stinks of garlic in there. So, Alright, you guys go back down, yeah. okay? Uh, me and Harry are about to enter room 8. Said it stinks of garlic. Luke's eyes have just started burning. Oh my god, it reeks. It absolutely honks in here. Oh my god, it stinks. Not so bad. Oh my god. I 
not normal. Oh, what? It feels, weird. It feels horrible in here. What are you doing, Jeanette? What is your game? Oh, I've got waves of anxiety. Yeah, see, see me. You having an effect here, like you did at the the old house? You have any kind of... What the hell did that say? What the hell did that say? Whatever Jeanette has just said, it is inaudible. But Harry and I know we must leave. As we do, Brett runs up to room 8 to see if he too can smell garlic. And within seconds, the entire room shakes and Brett's behaviour completely changes. Brett runs down to the control room. He believes that Harry and I have tried to scare Cam him and has lost all rationality, knowing full well we were in the control room. No, because you've just. I've just. What? What are you on about? You, you're probably like the other side of the door or some. What? What are you on about? What? Watch this. I went up. You said it stunk in there. Yes, because it does. Yeah, and you've done it, so I go in there to scare me, I just shit myself. Brett, we've just been sat here the whole time. What's I'm going to check that now. <laughs> yeah, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> and that wasn't you. Radio. I swear well, no, to I can God. see it isn't, but... We've been sat here the whole time. I know, sorry, I just... No, that was like, too loud. While Brett was in room 8, a massive bang shook the entire room, scaring him to his core. The energy in the room was seeming to build leading up to this moment. And after this thunderous boom, Brett immediately went to question his friends, assuming they were trying to scare him. These terrifying events throughout the night just go to show that the King's Head Inn lives up to its title of My Haunted Hotel. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from your boy. As always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this.